So if you've recently been told that you've got type 2 diabetes or you've been told that your HbA1ac is a bit high and you're probably wondering to yourself well what does that mean and how did that happen then hopefully this video will explain it a little bit. So hi my name's Anita and I'm currently studying a second year postgrad in functional nutrition and I'm an ex-cardiac ICU nurse and I want to sort of help you really understand what those numbers mean. So let's break it down a little bit for you. So HbA1c is a blood test that shows your average blood sugar taken over the last two to three months. It's like checking your sugar history. It's not just a snapshot of what your blood sugar is doing today, but it's actually what's been happening to it over the last two to three months. So if your doctor says to you that your HbA1c is high, they're seeing that your blood sugar has been raised for a while and not just today. So here's what these numbers mean. And I've taken these from the NHS website so that you know where the references are from. So below 42 millimoles is normal. Between 42 and 47 millimoles is known as being pre-diabetic and this is where you can make some big differences. And 48 millimoles and above usually means that you have got type 2 diabetes. Okay, but here's the important bit. These numbers can change and often do so with nutritional changes and lifestyle changes. So what that means is that if you start to eat more whole foods and less processed foods, start getting better sleep and even start doing a little bit more exercise, especially after meals, you can make a really big difference to these numbers. So here's a few quick tips that you could get started today. So have a little look in your breakfast cupboard and think, right, I need to swap some of these sugary cereals for maybe some oats, which you could do an overnight oats mix with maybe some flaxseed and some Greek yogurt. What this will do is it will actually help you feel much more fuller. It will help stabilize your blood sugar because the fiber in the overnight oats and the seeds will slow down that absorption of blood sugars. And if you're not sure about an overnight oats recipe, I've got one pinned to my account. And remember, the number isn't a label. It's just information for you and your GP to use to help you feel better in the long run. So you can do something about it today and it will help you change what's gonna to happen tomorrow. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you want to share what your HbA1c is with me and what you're doing so far to make a change with it, then do feel free to share that too.